Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today we are going to get started with .NET MAUI inside the Visual Studio 2026 by building our very first cross-platform project. So if you've been following my latest videos, this is a step where we move from Android only projects to true cross-platform development. To get us started, make sure you've got the Visual Studio 2026 installed with the necessary components. If you have the Visual Studio installed, make, open the, the, the Visual Studio installer and click on uh, modify under the Visual Studio 2026 and you'll be taken to this page. So once you're on this page, make sure you you have this box checked, uh, .NET Multi-Platform App UI Development. So this will help you build Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS from a single code base using C Sharp with .NET MAUI. Okay, so we have to make sure that we have this bit sorted out. Okay, if that's the case here, yeah, let's move on to our, the Visual Studio. And then go ahead and create a new project. So here, we can we can select uh, C sharp, and then on the platform side, you can select whatever platform, but we can leave it to all platforms. It's not really important, but let's leave it at Android. So if so, what we can see right now is we have a bunch of project templates that we can use. Yeah. So here we have a .NET MAUI app. So this is a project template for creating a .NET MAUI application that targets iOS, Android, Mac OS. And whatnot okay and then we've got a bunch of projects that you can also use like the .NET MAUI Blazor hybrid app so this is a project also for creating a .NET MAUI application for iOS and whatnot okay so let's go ahead and select this here .NET MAUI app okay and then click on the next so here like I, I said in my previous videos here you can configure your project details by giving your project a name that is applicable to whatever you're doing can also change the solution location or you can use that at default location you can also give your solution a name and whatnot yeah this is where you can do everything okay so once you finish with that let's go ahead and click on next so as you can see we've got um something loading here so i'm just going to pause it so here we can select our .NET framework version that we want to use. For this video sake here, let's look, let's use the latest one, which is the .NET 10.4, which is um, a preview. So let's leave it as it is here, and then go ahead and click Create here. This will actually create our first project template for us. So here it's asking before you continue, do you want to keep the pending changes from current thread? Uh, Let's go ahead because I've already opened the project. So as you can see here now, we have the our, our .NET project template created for us. So let's have a look quickly what we've got yeah, inside. So as you can see here now, first we've got a property which contains the launch um, setting. Yeah, and then we've got, um, let's come to the program, uh, Maui program.cs. So this is the entry point for our, our project of um, our application. Yeah. So this this is on startup here. Yeah. This is us first. And then we get target to wherever, wherever it's going. And then we have the the main page.saml. The main page.saml contains the layout. Like, and then we've got the main page of ML.cs, which contains the uh, code behind logic, okay, so the layout logic. Then we've got platforms here, yeah? so the platform here yeah, contains the targeted platforms, which is basically targeting Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, and Windows, okay. So this is the platform that is being targeted, okay. So, first of all, let's go ahead and build it. So you can right click it and then uh, rebuild or build. So let's go ahead and build it. Okay, so 
upon trying to build it, I, I keep getting this error. But we will skip the error in terms of building and running our first application. I will do that on a follow-up video, not to waste too much time. So let's quickly have a look at, I mean, how we can run a separate, um, the, um, the project on separate um, platform. So if we look up here, so as you can see, I've selected the Android emulator. Okay. So select other ways to actually run it. We actually expand this. So once we expand it here, so as you can see here, we've got a bunch of platforms that we can use. Like uh, here, the Windows, we've got Android emulator, we've got iOS um, remote device, and then we've got iOS emulators. Okay. So if we select this bit here, that, that would be the .NET 9.0. And this uh, .NET 9.0 uh, Windows 10. Yeah, so once we select it, it should actually display here. So as you can see here now, we've got the Windows virtual um, Windows machine that can run this project or this cross-platform project. We've also got um, other ways to run it. So let's try again here yeah, and let's have a look if we'll be able to. I mean, run it again. Um, inside the windows okay so i'll just go ahead and click on run if it doesn't run if if the error still persists yeah i will end it i'll end the video here but um i promise to make a follow-up video with the resolution to the errors okay so let's have a look what is actually going on if we can get it running so we've got the build started okay so i'm just going to pause the, the video just to um, see what actually comes out of it. So as we can see here now, it's been a while since it's trying to obviously um, run, it's trying to up, build and run. So obviously it makes no sense to keep the video going because I'll make a follow-up, I'll look at what is going on. So on my, my follow-up video, I'll actually um, talk about what was the issue but obviously some of you might be able to run it so just leave a comment if you are able to run it so that um, other um, other people or other viewers can also have a look at your I mean, wishes and fix their own stuff okay so once again i'll leave this video here for now i'll certainly make a follow-up video in terms of fixing everything so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.